He um, is uh, self-revealing God. He is sovereign. Uh, he designs us, and he has drawn near to us. I, I think there is Christian unity on that. Now, how you define some of those things, the particulars, uh, that, that's, we quibble about some of those. I think this oneness and threeness is, is, a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a, something that needs to be addressed because the four of us are saying that this, 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 the one true God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, uh, doesn't make sense to most people. And yet we'd say, no, we're unified on that. When I teach theology, I point up to the students how central Jesus is to every major doctrine of the faith. Uh, we begin looking at revelation. Well, the supreme revelation of God is Jesus Christ. We're Trinitarians because of Jesus Christ. I think of uh, the Trinity, too, as one of the most practical truths of the Christian life. Now, that shocks people, but my prayer life depends upon it. Receiving the Bible depends upon it. The Father speaks, you know, the, His ultimate word is the Son. The Holy Spirit uh, enables us to um, understand the, the Scriptures. Our salvation depends yeah. upon it. See, heresy is a cross uncrossed. Yes. When you're not here and God is transcendent, God is imminent. If you're only here in one, you've lost it. You've lost it. I mean, Lord, we've already said, Lord, I believe. What comes next? Yeah. Help thou my unbelief. Believe. That's yeah. right. How you, how you unwrap the mystery is, is kind of hard, isn't it? That is such an astounding, miraculous mystery that we should be shocked if we don't have the differing conceptions and uh, orientations. I'm thinking in terms, again, of our denominational diversity uh, because we're all looking at something so massive, it's greater than any of us.